We begin with the top five plays of the week. Some are actual plays, others moments of incredible games that cannot be summed up in a single play. Sure, the countdown is plays of the week, but I make the rules, and this week was awesome. So let's begin with number five. And our game of the week, St. Mary's football up 35-7 to in the second half, but don't count out the Beulah Miners. This would be a touchdown by Nathan Batest, a catalyst to the comeback. Beulah scores 29 unanswered points and win the most amazing game this season. 36-35, Beulah Miners earn number five. Number four, WDA Soccer Championship. Another amazing moment is Bismarck's Rodriguez. Magisha scores the go-ahead goal with 20 minutes left. Bismarck coming back from down 1-0, beating Century again this season. The celebration to the fans. Awesome moment. Magisha earns number four. Number three, Mandaree football. Ethan Lester on fourth and goal. Everyone is eligible to catch the ball in six man, including the center, Dante Sage. We have his name. The center gets the score and makes the list at number three. To number two, Legacy's Rhett Clements going to throw a fade to the end zone. And we're going to see an amazing catch by Keegan Woodbury. Comes down with it on a sea of defenders. A Hail Mary that works for the Sabres right before the half. The amazing play would lead to the legacy win. Woodbury earns number two. To my top play of the week, we go back to soccer. WDA championship. A wicked shot by Jacob Swords with the win. But Demons keeper Easton Ford. The amazing leaping save to prevent the Patriots from taking the lead. You know how this one ends. Bismarck as champions. Ford earns the top spot on the list.